What up, Fortnite fam? May the 4th be with you, because Epic Games have given us a super secret update with some pretty big changes to the meta. And there have been some major leaks about the game thanks to the court proceedings that are currently going on in the Epic vs Apple lawsuit. It may not be a normal update day, but I'm Matt and I'm here to break down everything you need to know about this crazy new Fortnite news in under 5 minutes. First up, let's go over those huge changes that Epic Games have added to the Fortnite meta, which are going to seriously shake up the rest of the season and the rest of the FNCS. Two weapons have been unvaulted and added back into the game. If you drop down onto the Fortnite island right now, you'll notice that the tactical shotgun and the infantry rifle can now both be picked up. The tac shotgun will act as the perfect middle ground between the pump and the primal shotguns, while the infantry rifle will give players who like to rely on that first shot accuracy at longer ranges a chance to shine. Crafting parts have been doubled on the floor loot side of things, and the chances of mechanical parts being dropped from cars have also been increased by 50%. Clearly, Epic still aren't happy with the way their new crafting mechanics are working and so have increased the chances for players to find parts once again. This will make it much easier for everyone to get up off the makeshift tier of weaponry, especially after Epic recently changed the upgrade cost to be more expensive depending on your weapon's rarity. Finally, loot chances for fish spots, supply drops and bunker chests have all been improved and will now be favouring classic weapons. These are the weapons that have been on the Fortnite island for a while, which basically translates to you're going to find less makeshifts and primals in fish spots, supply drops and bunker chests now, which is honestly a pretty positive change. Ok, let's move on to the huge leaks that have happened over the course of the past 24 hours, because there's a lot to get through. The lawsuit between Fortnite and Apple ramped up into its final stages yesterday, and as a result, some highly sensitive documents from Epic Games have been leaked and they go over the state of Fortnite and a roadmap that has leaked a whole bunch of skin concepts. The document has revealed that Epic wants to go beyond Battle Royale to return Fortnite into growth mode. This will include an open world simulation sandbox, images of which have already been leaked, and pushing Fortnite even further to become a platform more than a game. As for the leaked skin concepts, well, there's quite a few. The document revealed that the Neymar icon skin was originally planned for Q4 2020, though for some reason it obviously ended up being pushed back a little bit to Q1 2021, as it only just released. While that very same document states that a LeBron James skin was planned for Q4 2020 as well, implying that might still be to come down the line. The document also revealed that there is a rock skin planned to come out in Q1 2021, and I don't think I need to go through all the rumours claiming that the person voicing and playing the foundation is in fact Dwayne Johnson himself. The document also states that there is to be a new basketball minigame on the way to showcase an entirely new style of play, moving past the simple Fortnite toys emotes and onto a proper version of arcade basketball. Another cool little thing about skins, they had actually planned for Samus from the Metroid series to be included in the Season 5 lineup of characters. Whether that deal fell through or the skin is still in development, who knows. Other potential crossovers that may or may not be getting worked on anymore include Naruto, Katniss Everdeen and The Bride from the Kill Bill franchise. This document also revealed that there were actually meant to be many more concerts in Fortnite last year. We had J Balvin, but we were also meant to have an Ariana Grande tournament in October and then a Lady Gaga tournament in December. The combined double tap of both the new leaks and the major meta changes made yesterday practically as big as a normal update. The additions to the game yesterday are going to shake up the meta in a big way and will likely start to shift people even further into using the classic mechanical weapons over their primal counterparts, especially since they can now be found more in chests, bunker chests and in fishing spawns. Meanwhile, these leaks have shown that Fortnite as a game still has so much more to give and we can't wait for all of it to finally release. FNCS Basketball when? Anyway, Fortnite fam, remember to subscribe and hit the bell because I'll be back next week breaking down the actual new update. See you then.